Hi to there, YouTube Pipe community. Low Country Piper here with our inaugural video today. We've got a treat for you. We've got a special blend with its matching pipe. Let's get into it, shall we? So today what we have here, we have got EA Carries Magic Inch 50th Anniversary Pipe. Now this pipe came out, brief history of it, it came out in 1998, commemorating from 1948 to 1998 of their 50th anniversary. And on your screen now, you should be seeing a catalog clipping that I actually reached out to EA Carey and got, they actually provided this to me because I asked for some information on this pipe because there's not much of it out there. And as you can see, this was a part of their catalog from their holiday or Christmas catalog from 1998. And they had a bundle deal with the blend and the pipe together. So, let's light the bowl, shall we? So, a little bit about the blend. The blend is, in fact, EA Carey's 50th Anniversary Aromatic Blend. Its profile consists of a Golden African um, Virginias and some Burleys, along with a mild black Cavendish. Mm. Its flavor profiles, room note, very pleasant. Flavor, taste, strength, it's on a mild level playing field. The notes that you get from it uh, that mainly come out to me is we've got a chocolatey blend, kind of like a chocolate liqueur. There are elements of vanilla in there, but to me, chocolate stands out the most with this blend. Let's take a look at the package it comes in. So here's EA Carey's two ounce blend bag. Has a 50th anniversary logo, or I should say label. But what's interesting about this bag, it's resealable. I thought that was a nice touch for it. I don't think I'll need to be sealing it anytime soon. This has become a new favorite of mine, especially with this matching pipe. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the pipe. So, unlike all the other EA carriers, if you're not familiar with, they have vented ports on the top and bottom. Um, but this one has a custom stem, only one slit on each side. With a EA carry pipe, let me explain something. So, you've got the vented portals, right, on the top and bottom. Um, but however, this one with the special side vents, what's the purpose of that, right? This is what makes EA carry special. This is why they've got the patent that they now use that they put on the side here. Let's take a look at it real quick. So, the inner workings are the same as any other EA carry pipe. It's just the stem that's special. But if we just slowly take this guy off, right? There's a reason why they're called the EA Carry Magic Inch. So, take a look at this guy. So, I've gone through a couple of bowls with this guy already. So you kind of see that we've got a little bit of buildup here. We'll have to replace it. But uh, you can still find these paper filters. But what is a paper filter for, right? It's not like a traditional filter. This filter sits on top of an inch of these little portholes, right? This allows for a cooler mixture of the smoke and the air you're pulling around it to mix as you pull it in. So this is what makes that EA Carries Magic in special. But with this one, it being unique as it is, you have the ports on the side instead of the top and bottom. 
Now, I do want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine, JM Sports Pipes. He did the great work on this stem that had a little bit of oxidization and some chew marks on it. Not too bad of damage, but he was my go-to guy. Um, this is his logo right here. This is some of his classic pipe shine. Pick you up some from his eBay shop. I'll leave the link in the description below. But as for the bowl itself, it's a real dark plum mirror finish. Real nice briar on here. But really what's cool, what I really like about this guy. Here, this is going to get you right here. You got a silver band. Hallmarking marks here. Where it was made. And then right here, you may not be able to see this. I'll try and get this as close as I can. But that says 1948-1998-50th. So that's a really cool thing. So, standard EA carry magic inch right there with the patent number from 1964, I believe. And here's the cool part. When they released this in 1998 with that catalog, as you can see there in that catalog that I showed earlier, this is only one of 250 identical pipes. Only 250 of them made like this. And they're numbered. So I don't know if you can see this, but let's take a look. That says 155 of 250. That's pretty awesome, huh? That's pretty impressive. But being this as a special pipe and blend combo video, along with the inaugural video of the Low Country Piper, I wanted to kind of just give a little background real quick on how I got into pipe smoking and just kind of where I come into play with all of this. Huh? So I actually, I didn't really start a really interest in this at all. I was given, in fact, um, I was given my first pipe by my great uncle, who was actually a Peterson. I got it hiding behind you. Let me place this guy right here. We'll relight in a minute. This right here was my first pipe. It's a Peterson. Real nice, real nice. And here's the thing. I didn't know anything about pipes. I didn't know the difference between a Peterson and, oh, it's your run-of-the-mill corn cob pipe. I didn't know there was a value difference. I didn't know there was a quality difference. Pipes were pipes to me. Well, I started looking into it more. Started looking on YouTube. And that's where I ran across some of my inspirations that led me to pipe smoking. We've got the great YouTuber, Pipe Cottage, along with Mutton Chomp Piper, He's the one that helped me with my breath method. Steady as it goes. So, and there's also several others that I've, I've learned from, but those just were the first two that I came across when I was like, well, how do we do this? And pipe, pipe smoking is kind of an uncommon thing, but as you can tell from my surroundings and what I'm wearing, I'm not quite the modern man of the world. I've been told many times that I'm a man out of my wrong generation. Um, but it's kind of hard to explain to people, well, why do you pipe smoke? Well, I've always given this analogy, and it works great. Uh, maybe you can use it too. There are three different types of smokers. You have your cigarette smoker, your cigar smoker, and your pipe smoker. We won't get into the other stuff. Uh, I always equate it for people who understand it like coffee. So... Cigarettes, quick fizz, cheap. Just, I need it, need it now. I need my caffeine fix, I need it right now. That's, that's your McDonald's, great value, gas station, coffee. Yeah, it's got your caffeine, doesn't taste great, it's not good, but it gets it done, right? Move on your cigar smokers. A real big investment of money-wise, right? 
for one time use. You can buy expensive cigars and you can buy inexpensive cigars, but for the most case, pretty relatively mid-range expensive. I equate this to like the signature latte coffee drinker. The one that'll pay that premium to get that exact flavor or experience that they want. Then we've got our third one. Pipe smokers. All those great pipe smokers out there in the YouTube world, YouTube community, with pipe smokers, unreal, unmatched. Um, I was thoroughly impressed with just how I barely got into it and people were already communicating to me on how to do certain things. Um, but those pipe smokers, how are we in coffee drinkers? Well, we're like the espresso makers, but not the kind that we pay for. The kind that we buy the beans at home, we buy it, the grinder, we put it in the grinder, we get it to the fineness that we want, we get the right temperature of water, we put it in the machine, we press that coffee out for a nice, good, high quality cup of coffee. So, that's how I always explain why I like that and what I just explained with the espresso, ritualistic, right? There's a method to it. What do we do? We take the pipe, we pack the pipe, we light the pipe, we tamp the pipe, right? It's all things that we know, almost becomes second nature. But to get into it, you have to kind of understand the process, right? Let's do a quick relight. I hope that gave a little insight as we reflect on a good time smoking, right? I hope this video was somewhat informative and hopefully it was a pleasure to watch. We'll hopefully have new videos coming out soon. This is the inaugural video of the Low Country Piper and uh, hopefully to bring you some new and interesting content out here in the YouTube pipe community world. And without further ado, this is the Low Country Piper signing off.